Okay, <laughs> oops, uh, testing here, a little bit of setup for doing uh, screen recording for demos in Audacity. A little bit of tricks, this is Ladiocast, which is a, a broadcast uh, piece of software that I use for uh, DS106 uh, live radio, but it also works as a um, kind of a mixer for your input. So a key part is having uh, this thing on uh, Mac installed called um, a Soundflower and it creates virtual sound sources. So under my um, sound menu, um, I have my um, output device set to this thing called 60 Sunflower Soundflower 64 channel, which means that anything that plays on my computer normally through my speakers goes into this thing called Soundflower 64. So you can't see anything um, playing in Ladiocast um, right now because uh, input two is Soundflower 64. Input one is my um, Samsung Media mic, so you can hear me talking. But if I'm pressing my um, volume button, which makes a sound on my computer, you'll see some little blips on input two. And so that means that I can mix all the sounds that normally I would hear on my speakers into um, come into Ladiocast. I can mix it with my um, microphone, and then the output. This is where it gets tricky. Um, goes into uh, Soundflower um, 2 channel. So there's two different virtual sound channels. There's Soundflower 64, Soundflower 2. This means in my, um, I'm doing the screencast recording in um, QuickTime Player, um, which actually does a really nice job of screencast recording. Uh, I set my audio input to be Soundflower 2 channel. So a little bit mind bending, but I've got my audio coming in one side all my system sound coming the other side into Ladiocast goes out of Ladiocast, mixed together into Soundflower 2. That goes into my screen recording. The reason is um, I've been doing these demonstrations in Audacity, and um, when I do a normal screencast, you can hear me talking through the microphone. But when I play something back through Audacity, um, it's not recorded in the screencast because that's going out through my speakers. So. Um, what will happen here is like normally I'd be doing a demonstration so I will say uh, here's how we do some recording into Audacity and then in my screencast when I went to play it you wouldn't hear it. Uh, here's how we do some recording into Audacity and I just realized that I messed up uh, because Audacity is kind of funny. It doesn't seem to pay attention to uh, the system sound so actually I have to um, tell it to use Soundflower 64 uh, for my output. Again, that's where I want everything to go um, moving in. So now I'm going to try it again. And wow, is this Soundflower thing ever the coolest thing since cheese and oatmeal, which is actually what I'm eating. So when I play it back, um, I probably won't hear it through my speakers. Wow, is this but I can see on my meters here that it's going out from Audacity, going into my Soundflower, going into the screen recording. So then you can obviously hear the things I'm playing back, which was um, something that was missing um, from my uh, very first um, screencast of demonstrating Audacity is that you couldn't hear it. So uh, now you're going to be able to hear me. I demonstrate pointing these uh, seagulls. I've offset my intro, and uh, when I play it back, you should hear right now some seagulls, and then me. Wow! Is this and then boom! That is how I think I do stuff. Screencasting Audacity demos. This probably doesn't make any sense to anybody, but it matters to me.